This video is for authorized personnel only. Viewer discretion is advised. And just like that, we're back. You know, I was waiting for this. I didn't know if he was going to do it. Uh... But, um, uh, N-Word Boy uploaded the no-buzzing version of this. I was going to do a reaction to the other one, but, uh, there was a little too much feedback for my liking. Um, don't know what, what's going on there. But, uh, n -word Boy has this video for us, uh, what I want for my future, uh, with no buzzing. So that's pretty good. And there's a big moth that comes here right at the beginning, and it's really gross. And, yeah, I'll probably try to catch it. What is that um, Here it is. Target locked. Okay. Either that or he's got flying scabs, because that's pretty long to be a moth. Hmm. Moth boy cometh. Mostly to guys on the internet, but that's neither here nor there. I want to make this video for everybody out there that can they support our bond that's been watching me over the last seven years. You know, I was sitting down with some very, very close friends of mine that I grew up with. And we were just talking and they had to go so, so I ended up just sitting here just watching TV why not? Um, I started to think that yes, I may be broken. Yes, I may be hell. But I want to make this video for the supporters out there that have helped me get this far. Eyes are closed the entire time. Like, what do you expect to happen here, buddy? Your eyes are closed. You're lying. You're lying. You're a liar. You've always been a liar. You will always be a liar. No matter what you do, all you do is lie, lie, lie. You lie on the internet. You lie to people to get your get their money. You lie for everything. You even lie on that little bed back there sometimes. You lie about everything and everything. You've got liaria. Okay? You got a case of liabetes. You need to take your... Uh, your insulin. <laughs> liar. Liar, liar, liar. Even in my darkest of times, you guys cannot disappoint. Ever. Whether... You know, whether you're old fans, you know once. I want you guys to know that I love each that I love each and every single one of you guys. You love a lot of people. I don't understand why uh, nobody loves you back, and the only person that could ever possibly love you in this lifetime is Sally, and that is because she is the keeper of the creature. You know what it is. Because what I'm dealing with, I would never wish on anyone in my whole entire life. I really wouldn't. I would never wish what I've been through on anyone. Because what I've been through is... It's not okay. It's horrific. It's traumatizing. It mentally and physically and emotionally destroys you. And it could tear your whole life apart. In a matter of... <laughs> it could tear your whole life apart in a matter of minutes. Yeah, yeah, sure. Sure it is. Sure it will. Yeah. Um here's a here's here's an easy thing here. Uh don't be a low cow. Don't post your entire life on the internet. You had something personal go on? Don't share it with the internet. It's none of the internet's business. That nobody on here is your friend. They are all here for entertainment. 
So uh, if you pay the piper, you got to dance the song. You put the quarter in the jukebox. Well, quarter you probably stole from your grandma. But you still put the quarter in the jukebox, so you got to dance the tune. You don't seem to understand that this will always happen on the internet because the internet is public opinion. Public information, freedom of speech, all that good stuff, you know, all that constitutional jargon you like to speak whenever you talk down on Marty. Even though you have a like a third grade civics level of, of understanding of the Constitution and your rights as a, as a civilian. But I digress. Yeah, I mean, my life has not been easy for the last seven years. Oh. My life has been very difficult. <laughs> uh, that sounds like a uh, user skill error. Uh, get good, scrub. Quit struggling in life. Get rich, you brokey. <laughs> oh, you're insufferable. And, you know, I know that I have supporters out there that love and care. And like I said, I appreciate each and every single one of you guys. I really do. I'm not going to lie. Uh, I don't know if it's the fact that his eyes look a little bit darker or the, the, the spooky ghost sounds going on in the background that was from Edward Boy muting the buzzing. But uh, it, it's very spooky up in here. Spooky dokey. Very spooky. Sheesh. Yikes. Spooky, spooky, spooky. This life that I've had to live is not one I ever wanted to live. For the last ten years, I have been living a life of fear. I have been living a life of being scared. I have been living a life of not knowing what to do. Just how it goes from the left ear bud to the right ear bud, the left ear bud to the right ear bud, just, ugh. Something about us like surrounded by ghosts. Surrounded by ghosts. The spirits. Um, it's not been easy. Like I said, I want to get back to who I used to be before 2017. I want to be that person again so fucking goddamn bad. Uh, Mommy Strangler, uh, who abuses his girlfriends and abused the blind boy. And, uh, the product of a regard. Nice. Nice. That's all I would dream about every day, is being that person again that I used to be. Being that... Still, still a, still a degenerate, you know. That person that was normal. Being that person that was doing music videos, that was doing short films, that was doing artwork. That was feeding and selling my own merchandise. That was selling my music. That was doing gameplay videos. That was having fun. That's the person that I want to be again so bad. Yeah, no, no, Xerox. Um, you just want that tooth back and you want the heat off of you. So, no. Um, this is not... This is not going to work out the way that you think it is. Um, you can't just turn back time. I know Cher had a song about that, but uh, it's a song. Uh, you can't just turn back time. Uh, you can't find a way. Uh, so, yeah, there's that. And hopefully with the help then I'm going to be getting started tomorrow, hopefully. Hopefully all that will change and hopefully I can get the help. I need to get back to being that person. Because I want to be better for myself, for my family, and for my friends. What family do you have left, really? 
I mean, you have Taylor, right? And that's that's pushing it. Yet Sally, um, and you got Ed, who has said that he would not hesitate to deck you if you went after Sally again. So there's that. And um, really, you're trying to capture the magic again, but there was never any magic to begin with, right? There's no, there's no uh, good ending for you. You don't just get to ride off in the sunset, mostly because you don't have a driver's license. But you don't get to ride off in the sunset. You don't just get to magically reset everything back to a point in time that it was before. So, again, Cyrex. Uh, mm, you're, you're pandering for nothing. You're crying about literally nothing because it's something you can't do. End of story. But most importantly for my girlfriend and my two stepsons who I love more than life itself. Again. Again, Cyrax talking about his kids and how much he loves his kids. Yeah, you might love them kids, but you don't love them for the reasons that a stepfather should love his kids. You're not their stepfather, number one. Number two, uh... I, I don't I don't get it. I don't I don't get you. I don't get you. You are just You have no self awareness and that makes you one of like the most like hated people ever. Like you don't have the foresight to see like, uh oh, well I've been caught doing this, caught doing that, and they accuse me of being this. I probably shouldn't be talking about raising kids. You know, when you've done the things that you've done, there's really no coming back from that. Um, probably draw and quarter you, maybe. Uh, hit you to the back of a track hawk and send it around the block a few times, you know, for 24 hours, just dragging straight, you know. I want to be better for them, all of them. And most importantly, I want to be better for you guys, the fans that actually want to see me do well, the fans that want to see me succeed, I want to do better for you guys. Because like I said, this life that I've had to live, it's not easy. Always being scared, always being depressed, not knowing what to do. It's been hard. It's been very, very hard. It's been very difficult for me, for my family, for my friends. And I know it's been even harder for you guys, the supporters who want to support me. Have you ever had a fan that says, yeah, I watched Cyrex, I'm a big fan of his? Nobody. Nobody has ever said that in the history of the internet. Like, people say, yeah, they love watching you, but it's usually they love watching to hate you. There's a difference there, buddy. Get scared away because of the trolls threatening your lives, threatening your jobs. Like I said before, I know I'm not perfect. No one in this world is. I've made my fair share of mistakes, but I'm here trying to right those wrongs. I'm here trying to fix those wrongs every single day of my life. And one thing that I've learned in all this is you can either be held back by your past or you can break away from it. And I want to break away from my past and do better. You want to branch away from the horrible things that you've done. You want to do better because you can't possibly do any worse than you already have. On top of the fact, the part that's really burning my ass the most is... What's up with the cheese balls there, Captain? What's, uh... What's going on with the cheese balls? You feeding the mice? Are you feeding your little minions? Ugh. <laughs> oh. I bet it really hurts trying to chew things with that missing tooth. I hope it does. Because I know that the trolls and the people that truly hate me, that think that I'm evil and I'm not, they're going to have their opinions. They're going to do whatever it takes to stop me. But... Ugh. 
Them scabs are horrible. I am getting the help I need to try to combat this. <laughs> you can't. You, you you literally can't. Um. You you can't stop every single troll because Marty's not the only person that hates you. You have a big following of people that do not like you, Cyrex, and I am one of them. I I despise you with a passion. Um. You are just unteachable. You know how they say you can teach old dogs new tricks? This dog just ain't gonna hunt, okay? This dog can't do shit. This dog is, like, put it out the pasture. It is past its prime. This dog needs to be old yellowed like yesterday. I can bat the demons that I face every day to try to do better. And hopefully to try to put a stop to all this. I don't deserve this. My family and friends don't deserve it. Eh, that's debatable. My girlfriend and our kids don't deserve it. And you guys, the fans. You guys especially don't deserve it. Because all you guys want to do is show love and support for me. And you guys can't. Because you guys are constantly being threatened. Constantly being attacked. And it's not fair to you guys. It's really not. You have three people in chat that are actually there to listen to what you have to do. And actually don't talk bad on you. Yeah, sure. Sure. Tell me about it. Let, let me know. Like I said, I understand that I've made my fair share of mistakes. Some worse than more. You know, some way worse than others. And I get that. But that doesn't mean I don't deserve a chance to try to fix things. I understand the way that I went about it may not have been the right way. But I'm here now wanting to do it the right way. Wanting to get better. Wanting to put a stop to this so I can be myself again. Because since 2017, not only have I been getting robbed of a life that I fought so hard for, but you guys, the fans, the real supporters out there. Totally non-existent, by the way. The real supporters, yeah, they don't exist. Sorry to tell you this, buddy, but uh, they're, they're not real. I know there might not be many of you. I know you guys are still out there. And I feel like if you guys have gotten robbed of watching somebody that you guys care about, I got robbed of a life, and you guys got robbed of wholesome, meaningful, fun content that I could have been creating this whole time. Instead of watching me do wholesome, creative, fun content, you guys have to watch me struggle and fight every day, and I'm tired of it. Mm -hmm. So I promise you guys, to the fans, that I'm going to do everything I can to get better for you guys, for my friends, for my family, mm -hmm. for my girlfriend and our two sons, Now, the logistics of uh, them being your children, you'd have to marry the, her first, okay? You're not going to call someone else's kids that you're dating, like even if you're in an intimate relationship where you see them every single day, uh, you're not going to call someone's kids your kids. You are like 10 steps ahead in the relationship, and she's at the just getting to know you stage. Like, you, you are just... A needy, needy little goblin. You know that? You're needy. Everything has to be permanent with you. You want everything to be solidified. Uh, no. That's not how life works. Nothing is just going to work out in your favor. Expect disappointment so you won't be disappointed. But most importantly, I want to get better for myself. And for you guys. So, starting tomorrow, I may or may not be on as much. 
I don't know yet. I'm still working on things, trying to figure out what I want to do and what's going to happen when I start my treatment starting tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Tell me about it. Tell me about it. So, you're saying that you're taking this big pause, right? Uh... So you've uh, rebranded yourself as Tactical Eight, uh, Tactical Ace, uh, Eight One Five Seven. This is your new channel. You've never flip, you never like flown on a plane before, not that I'm aware of. Uh, you don't have any <laughs> aerial experience whatsoever. The closest thing that you have to aerial experience is the time when you play War Thunder. Or you're talking to Gordon about his jump experience, which he was in the army, not the air force, uh, Rex. So again, you you you're just <laughs> ridiculously overplaying yourself. Think about your options, and then think about what you should do instead of just throwing things at the wall and hope they stick. So you're. You're not mentally well. You are um, laughably slow, extremely gullible, and you're extremely reactive. You have all the makings of a little cow, but you can't accept the status. Brandy Grand Prix accepted her status as a little cow. That's why she was out there on the road last night, drunk, rolling around on the ground like a roly-poly, sitting there saying she wanted the cars to hit her. Now, there's not a lot of action going on with you, mostly because the last time that you got some action was when Marty punched you in the face or you went out there to hit AOM with that bat. And honestly, that was just like like almost like hourly updates. Everything was happening. Boom, 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 boom. Well, the trolling has slowed down a little bit, okay? And now we're at this impasse where it's just like boring Cyrax stuff and then continuing perpetuating the cycle of Cyrex. This is the parts that I don't like about the community where we get in this little thing where Cyrex is smug again. He thinks he has a girlfriend. He's going to threaten to sue people, threaten to get law enforcement involved, legal action, blah, 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 blah. And then the troll girlfriend gets found out. And then we go back into this cycle of him getting on panel with Marty and complaining. And then Sally yelling at him, him yelling at Sally, back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. There's a repetitive nature to all this. It's a cycle. It's very cyclical in its nature. I'm not complaining. You know, everybody likes a good cycle because you can time it almost to your watch. And, uh, yeah, I don't know. I'm just sitting here with a beer. I'm not really pressed about the whole repetitiveness about it, but I thought it was worth mentioning. So... Yeah, just know that I will be posting as much as I can. I will be doing as much content as I possibly can. Um, I am going to try to do more gameplay videos. I am definitely going to try to do that a lot more. Um, I'm done, yeah. So if you guys see any changes, you know, the name change, the rebranding, the newer, you know, gameplay videos, I hope that you guys will be here still to support that journey in my life. Because I want to rebrand, I want to do better for myself, for you guys, for my friends, and for my family. And for my girlfriend and my two kids who I love more than anything in this world. I want to do better for all of you. And starting tomorrow, I'm going to be working on that as much as humanly possible. Like I said, I'm going to be rebranding the channel. I'm going to... This was the rebrand. So... Um, let me get the name here. Tactical Ace Eight One Five Seven. That's his new channel. Everybody that he's gonna revamp his life with. 
Uh, you can run, boy, but you cannot hide. You can run, but you cannot hide. You're just... Like I said, it's a cycle. Cyrax runs, makes a new channel, starts his bullshit again, goes back to it, around and around and around and around and around. You're just predictable at, at this point, if I'm being honest. I'm going under a whole new life because I do not want to be connected to the Cyrax now anymore. The Cyrax now is meaningless to me. Look me in the eye and say that. With both eyes, not just one. The only thing that that reminds me of is the dark chapters in my life that I did not want to be a part of. All I see when I hear the name Cyrus is somebody that I do not recognize. Because I do not recognize that person that I was. I know it was me, but I I don't recognize myself in all those videos. Because that person that gave me out to was not mine. That wasn't the real me. That was somebody that the troll community molded and bred out to be that way. And bred to be that way. But that's not who I am as a person. That's not who I want to be. I want to be the real me again. The real me that got lost in time, due to the trolling, due to the attacks. Mm-hmm. I... Tell me about it. Tell me. You are just so retarded. I want to be better, and I want to do better. But instead of talking about it, I want to show you guys that I can do better. That I am going to do better. Which for me means I will not be going on any channels at all. I'll stick into my own content. I will not be responding to any intro at all. I will not be responding to those three people who I will not mention by name because they do not deserve the recognition. But they know who they are. I will not be watching their video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've heard this all before. I'm not going to do any panels. not going to do any videos. I'm not going to do anything with the troll community. I'm done with the troll community. Dude, this has never worked once in the history of you doing this. So what do you think is going to happen now? Right, you actually think things are gonna change? They're not. You're stupid for thinking that, and you made all of us more stupid for having listened to it. Congratulations. I will not be going on their panels. I am going to be avoiding them like the black plague. I do not even want to hear about what they're doing, unless it is absolutely important. If they're making videos on me or Restream my videos? Oh fucking well, I don't care. I truly don't care. The only time I want to be alerted by them is that they're planning on doing something to me or my family. And that is it. Mm -hmm. sure. Because starting tomorrow, I'm going to start going about this the right way by getting myself help. And through that help, hopefully I can start to make a change in my life and a change in this situation as a whole. So with that being said, to all my fans out there, I love you guys so much. I can't thank y'all enough mm -hmm. for helping me get this far. And you're still in the position that you've been at for seven years, so congratulations again. You played yourself. I just know, like I said, this is not the end. I am not retiring. I am just shutting down and rebranding and re-upping everything as a whole so that I can start a new chapter in my life and start to build something that I can be proud of. 
There is literally nothing that you could do now that you could be proud of. An alien invasion could come tomorrow, and they could say that we only want the, the alien-looking one, and then point at you, and you could sacrifice yourself, and that would still not redeem you in the eyes of the people. You are the absolute worst possible thing to happen, and that wouldn't be a redeeming factor. That would be something to just, okay, good. Less tax for us to pay, to pay for your, your checks you get every month. Like, you think that you would be this golden egg to society when in fact you're just a a gold dust covered turd you're you're not as important as you think that you are cyrex you haven't gotten anywhere you're 34 you're sitting in your grandma's attic complaining about people on the internet like you 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 are like the biggest disgrace that I have ever seen. And I I can't even begin to fathom this in words. Um uh Cyrex, you're a goofy little goblin and your delusions outweigh your ambitions. So there's that. So with that being said, I love you guys. I will see you guys when the channel is rebranded. And I'll start posting new content. I love you guys. Peace. Cool. So, Cyrex, uh, do something with that, uh, that concrete they sent you. Don't just let that go to waste. Um, also, check out my other video if you haven't seen it yet. It's doing pretty good. Not as well as I would want it to be, but, like, we're getting there. We're getting there. 1.82k subs. We're getting there, boys. We're getting there. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Remember to like, share, subscribe. Uh, do the thing that you usually do. Hit that bell so you get all the notifications whenever I premiere a video or, you know... The, the the videos go out to members first, and then they go to you guys when the ads have been either greenlit or denied. So that's the, the wait period that we're dealing with currently. As always... Yeah. Please tell me that I can't, that I won't, that I fail, that I'll never make it out, yeah. Please tell me all the bad, never good, fill my head full of every single doubt, yeah. Please say any negative thoughts, I pop off when I hear people say I cannot. I get off to the thought of proving everyone wrong, I won't stop to the top, so you better back off, I get lost.